Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela and I make adult coloring videos here on this channel. Today I'm doing a super exciting video and that is the Christmas coloring tag created by one of my best friends here on YouTube, Meg from Meg's Art Atrium. She actually tagged me um, in her original video, so thank you so much Meg, I'm very excited about it. Um, and I will leave her channel linked down below. Please go check her out if you guys have not already. I feel like I talk about her so much, like at this point my entire audience must know she exists. So definitely go check her out if you haven't already. Um, she's a really nice person and super creative and fun and overall just great person. So go check out her channel. Um, but she created a coloring tag all about Christmas. And I figured it's the beginning of December, might as well, you know, get some Christmas cheer. Um, I also am going to be kind of bringing in some, like, Hanukkah answers into this tag as well. Just because if you guys don't know, I am Jewish. Um, so I don't really celebrate Christmas. Well, not really. I, I don't. I don't celebrate Christmas. Um, but I did celebrate Christmas when I was very, very little, up until about age five. But I'll get into that in the video more than likely, um, kind of explaining that. But... I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm gonna be coloring from 50 Christmas Miniatures by Camelia Angelkova. I was debating doing a whole flip of this book on my channel and ultimately I did decide against it. Um, but there are plenty of creators that have made really good flips of this book. So go check it out if you guys are interested in this book and Camelia herself put out a flip through. So if you guys are interested in the book, go check it out. It is great, I love it. Um, but yes, I think that's about it. Let's get right into the tag. Okay, so before I actually get into the tag, I guess, I'm gonna go ahead and just tag my three people now, otherwise I will forget. So, first person I wanna tag is Kathy, Spicy Cat Colors. Second person I wanna tag is Emily from Color Me Impressed. And third person I wanna tag is Shayna from Shayna and Colorland. I know you haven't really been coloring a whole lot, but I know that you are slowly getting back into it, um, so it would be awesome to see you do this tag um, since we've missed seeing you on YouTube. At least I know I have, so yes. Those are my three people I'm tagging. I'm going to open the book to the page I'm coloring. I think I'm just going to stick my swatch book on top here so that way it can stay open. I, I need a better plan this. I'm so bad at... At keeping the book open apparently I like don't want to like break the spine too much okay I think we're good this is actually a page that Meg and I are buddy coloring um so this is the page we chose and I have yet to start it so I figured it would be perfect to do it during the tag video that she created so I'm gonna pick my first color before I <sighs> before I start I think I'm just gonna make him like a brown color like a 103 I think is a good color so let me find that and then I can get into the questions assuming I can even find it um, I'm also using my Tao Tree markers which are these skinny alcohol markers that I love got last month and I yeah I love them they're so good where is 103 wow stand by while apparently I try to find this marker that I am just convinced does not exist is it 103? Is that what I was trying to find? No! Ah! Oh, no, it is 103. I am looking for 103. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. Okay, let's get started with the tag. Okay, question number one. What is your favorite Christmas tradition? Okay, so, like I said, I do not uh, celebrate Christmas. I have not in many, many years. Um, I have not celebrated Christmas since I was around five. Um, we did celebrate it when my grandparents on my mom's side were alive. Um, they they um, were not, well, my, I guess my grandma was Jewish, but my grandfather on my mom's side was not. Um, so we did celebrate Christmas. Um, one tradition specifically that I recall um, is watching Finding Nemo. Every Christmas Eve, we would watch Finding Nemo, and I don't know, like, I love that tradition. I'm kind of sad that, like, that's still, still, like, not a thing anymore, 
Um, so yeah, we don't do it anymore, but that, that I do remember being like a really fun tradition. I know it's not like traditional, um, but it is a tradition that we had. Um, I also did want to add a Hanukkah tradition, I guess that we do, and it's kind of silly. And I guess technically this isn't even a Hanukkah tradition. No, this is a Christmas, tra well, okay, I'll come up with a Hanukkah tradition, but I guess this is more Christmas still, but just like as a Jew. Um, we always, me and my parents, always get Chinese food <laughs> on Christmas Eve and Christmas like day. We'll get Chinese food, not, not necessarily just Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day we'll get Chinese food. Um, and yeah, that's ultimately the best part of Christmas. <laughs> For me because I don't you know celebrate it so yeah and then a Hanukkah tradition um the more I think about it that's actually really difficult because like really I don't know like we celebrate Hanukkah but like we're not like super I don't know I guess traditional maybe we're not super traditional with it um yeah, I guess I really came unprepared for this, um, because I'm not really sure in terms of Hanukkah, but, but I did find a Christmas tradition, so I think that's good. Well, let's just move on to question number two, which is open presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. We would always open presents on Christmas Day. Um, yeah, we'd always open them on Christmas Day. I don't even think we got one of those, like, night before, like, you can open this one tonight kind of thing. Um... There were a few years there in like middle school um, that I would actually spend with one of my friends who celebrated Christmas and her parents always like did the whole like open this Christmas Eve and it usually was like pajamas, which I thought, you know, was really cute. Um, but yeah, we would always just open presents on Christmas Day. Yeah, I don't, I really don't think we had even like one gift that we were given on Christmas Eve, so... Anyways, question number three is favorite Christmas food or treat? Probably just like peppermint hot chocolate. Um, I love me some hot chocolate. Um, and especially adding peppermint in it is really good. Um, I just think it's really cozy on a freezing kind of time to drink something warm. And hot chocolate's perfect for that. So, might be a boring answer, but that is what I'm going to go with. This is really hard to do with so much open space. I don't really want to, like, let it go because then it's going to, like, streak like it did here. But whatever. Moving on. Question number four. Hot chocolate or hot apple cider? That is easy for me. Hot chocolate for sure. Um, I'm not even, like, a huge fan of hot apple cider, to be honest. Um... I don't know just not a big fan of it so hot chocolate for sure any kind of hot chocolate I I love me some hot chocolate I'm debating if this nose should be the same color it probably should I'm gonna make it the same color okay question number five is traditional Christmas colors or non-traditional um that's not really something I've ever thought of, to be honest. Um, I guess traditional. Um, I'm not even necessarily sure, like, what people do for, like, non-traditional, but, like, I like traditional. I guess when it comes to, like, um, aesthetics, I know there are, like, Christmas trees that, like, are, like, white. Like, they're white Christmas trees that I think are really cool, um, and just, like, weird things like that that I think are really cool, but, like, for the most part, the traditional is really pretty as well, um, so I guess if you're kind of thinking about it like that, I guess it kind of depends, um, but I'm just gonna go with traditional, but, yeah, I need to think about my next color. I'm not really sure if I'm even completed with, well, I guess I'm just gonna add this here, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with that. I'm not really sure exactly if that just, like, what is, what is that? Is that just, like, fur? I guess I'm really confused by this photo. Uh, I guess I'll color it in brown as well. Okay, I guess we're gonna continue forward with this brown. Question number six. Would you be friends with the Grinch? 
Why or why not? You know, I think the Grinch and I would be such good friends, okay? Like, I would want to be friends with him. Honestly, like, I get it. I really get it. Um, I get super annoyed at, like, very little things that don't need to, like, be annoyed by. And I feel like that was the Grinch, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I think the Grinch just, like, needed some love. Truthfully. Um, and I get it. I really do. Um, so yes, I would be friends with the Grinch. I don't think the Grinch is really that bad. Um, so. I would, I would personally be friends with the Grinch. Um, I think deep down he's a good person. And yeah, oh my god. I am making such a mess. I cannot stay inside the lines to save my life at this point. Okay. Hopefully from afar this doesn't look as bad as I'm making it out to be. I'm actually going to move into just working on the eyes here for a minute because that apparently just seems a lot less, less intimidating. Um, question number seven. Favorite Christmas present you've ever received? This is a hard one and I'm trying to think on both Hanukkah and Christmas. Um, but truthfully um i've never really like we are <laughs> wow english our family is not really a huge like gift giving family um and i think that sounds bad but it's really not with my family like we're all very like fortunate enough we're like if we want something, like, we know we can all get it. Um, and so we've never really gift given at any kind of occasion. Christmas and Hanukkah included. We never really did that. As kids, obviously, like, we got presents, but, like, as adults, like, we don't. Um, so that one's really hard because we really don't give, even if it's, like, just thoughtful things. We really just don't do it. That being said... Thinking back on to, um, I should really find another color. He's gonna have, he's gonna have black feet. We're gonna go with that. Um, like black, like a, what do you call them? I don't know. They're gonna be black. Um, thinking on to the coloring swap. Um, I'm gonna consider this a Christmas gift. And I am gonna actually answer this with the mug that Danielle got me. Danny Buttons. Um, if you guys didn't know, we did a color tube swap. Um, and that like that gift really threw me in this in a good way because I, I just wasn't expecting someone to think so deeply about like m like me would be getting getting me the gift um, and having the mug with my name on it. Um, I will actually I think I'll, I'll insert a picture of it um, if I remember, but it is on my Instagram um, and on my channel, obviously. But yeah. Uh, that, that truly, like, I think has to be one of the most thoughtful gifts I've ever gotten. Um, and it's around Christmas time, so that's what I'm gonna go with for that. Um, let's see. Question number eight. If you were an elf, what would your name be? Hmm. Um, that's a good question. I feel like I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so bad at like this like creative like think of a name kind of questions. Um oh yeah, black works perfect for those. Um if I went if I were an elf, what would my name be? I don't know. I, yeah, I, Meg, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to skip this question because I like I can't think. <laughs> I don't know. Um I'm gonna go ahead and skip this question because I, yeah, have no idea. Um, 47 is what I'm looking for currently right here. Okay, question number nine, favorite Christmas movie. Um, Home Alone is such a good movie. I love Home Alone. Um, I haven't watched it in a very, very, very long time, <clears throat> but I have always loved it. Um, so yeah, I think, I think Home Alone definitely, um, 
is on the top of my list there. So, eh, that's what I'm gonna go with. I like Home Alone. It has really been a long time since I've seen it though, but very good movie. Um, question number 10, favorite Christmas coloring book? Ooh, good question. Um, I'm trying to think to all my Christmas coloring books. This is a very new one, the 50 Christmas miniatures, and honestly, like I might have to pick it because it's super cute. The images are so like easy and um, mindless, I feel like. I feel like this kind of page gets on the more detailed end when it's not even really that like detailed. Um, yeah, I think I might have to pick this book. I'm just trying to think of my other Christmas books and I don't really have that many. So I think I am gonna go with um, 50 Christmas Miniatures, which is this book by Camelia Angelkova. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> okay, question number 11. When do you start decorating your home for Christmas? Um, so I don't decorate my home for Christmas because I don't celebrate it. Um, but I did actually decorate my apartment a little bit for Hanukkah this year. And I believe I did that last weekend. Um, so basically right after Thanksgiving, um, assuming that that Hanukkah does not fall at a, on a weird week. Sometimes Hanukkah does fall um, pretty early in the season, like before Thanksgiving even. Um, but this year it happened to fall after Thanksgiving, not too long after, but after. So I got my decorations up just in time for Hanukkah and they will be staying up for the duration of um, the month of December into the new year. Okay, um, are these gonna be like blueberries? I don't know. They're probably a berry that should not be blue, but we're gonna make them blue. We're gonna make them 71. Um, okay, question number 12, eggnog, delicious or disgusting? Eggnog is trash, you guys. Mm -mm. Eggnog is disgusting. It's like the candy corn debate, okay? Candy corn is trash. Eggnog is also trash, okay? That is all I have to say on the subject. Um, question number 13. Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? I have, I have. And um, if you guys don't know, I sing. Um, I've been in choir my, in not entire life, because that's not true. A lot of my life, I've been in choir. Um, and yes, I have gone Christmas caroling. Um, let's see. I have Christmas caroled um, around UW Oshkosh's campus. Um, we did that with our choir. Um, I have caroled at like senior homes in high school. Um, I haven't done it in a while. I think the last time we went Christmas caroling was I think sophomore or junior year of college. I think it actually was sophomore year. So it has been a while, but yes. Okay, I'm gonna color his little collar in the number 10, because I think it needs some red. Assuming I can find my number 10. Here it is. Okay, question number 14. Favorite Christmas character? Snowman, gingerbread people. Okay, are we, so I think we're looking more like, like basic, not like very specific. Um, Favorite Christmas character? Oh, maybe we are looking more specific. Um, this is hard. Okay, this tag is hard for me specifically because like I like Christmas and everything, but like I'm not super invested <laughs> as like other people are because like, like I said, I, I don't celebrate Christmas. So these questions definitely take a little bit more thinking that I did not think about. Um, Favorite Christmas character? That's a really good question. Okay, technically, this is not a Christmas character. Okay, but like, I love Olaf from Frozen. Frozen's not a Christmas movie, okay? I get that, I know that. But as someone who doesn't really watch Christmas movies, can I go with Olaf, Meg? Because he's a snowman. I'm like, he may as well. He may, he may as well be a Christmas character, okay? I am petitioning for Olaf to be a Christmas character because that's what I'm going with. Perfect, okay. 
Um, and then the bonus question is, what is your favorite Christmas memory? Ooh, that's another hard one because I don't really have any since all my Christmas memories were like when I was five. Um, I'm just going to go back to like being with family and watching Finding Nemo. Like for some reason, like that really is nostalgic for me thinking about those times. Um, and I know that's kind of what my favorite Christmas tradition was. <laughs> But it's also my favorite Christmas memory. That's what I'm going to go with for that. Because I, I can't really think of anything else. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go with for that. I am sorry, you guys, that some of my answers were a little bit, like, unsure, I guess. Slash, um, they moved a different direction than maybe Meg anticipated. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video anyways. Um, I did not get very far on this page, but... Truthfully, I wasn't sure where I was going with it, so it's totally fine. And I also just realized I missed coloring part of his ear, and maybe I should do that before I forget what color I used. I think I used, yeah, I used 103. I'm just going to do that real quick while we're still here. <laughs> I did not mean to miss part of his ear. Oh, no. Some coloring outside the lines. Ah, I love these markers, but, like, for some reason, I'm still not used to coloring with them, even though I've used them so many times on, on so many pages already. But I think that's it for today's video. Um, I will leave Meg's channel linked down below, obviously, as well as the three channels I tagged. And even if you aren't tagged, definitely do this tag. It's super fun, especially if you love Christmas. Just make sure to give Meg credit um, in the description and in the video. Um, you know, when us color tubers create tags, we spend a lot of time on it and everyone deserves the recognition for creating the tag. So thank you, Meg, so much for creating this super fun tag. I really enjoyed it, um, and I think that's it. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below, and I will catch you guys in my next video on Tuesday, and it's going to be a vlog. So I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.